Awesome. Yeah, Kokos is on Pyromancer. He does receive that buff right in the beginning. He is pressing forwards really aggressively, trying to get curses off, trying to get mouse ones. Looks like he's going for curse. Uh, should be... Yeah, he did land a curse on Eradicate, so good job getting that off. Rizzy's trying to Firestorm now. Kokos also Firestorming. They want to get as much AoE pressure out as they can. I don't like this positioning for Eradicate's team. Yeah, that's they're kind of, get uh, kind of back defensive. There. Yeah, they're going to get clustered, and Kokos is just going to zone them back into the corner. As you can see, it's already happening. Ooh. Eradicate gets flooded. Good job by Rizzy. I believe that was his bola. Kokos is pressing on Tuckerain right now. Does get a flame wall down. Maybe one tick for about 100 damage. Nothing major, though. Uh, Kokos, if you can see, he just flame bursted up top. He now has the high ground, is dominating with Pyro. Eradicate's team is drastically low. Carlton Banks is off Nuts. on the side as well. So they are just spread out. They are just yeah. Entering. That's a pretty interesting strategy. They definitely read Sun Tzu's The Art of War and is, and is <laughs> using a, a master plan to execute this. Some good old Sun Tzu, always applicable to Forge. The always. best PvP in the world. Um, look at him get in there. So, oh. Kokos is going to take the high ground again. You're going to see a Firestorm pretty soon. Looks Tuck like he's trying to a little low on health, though. Kokos yeah, there's the Firestorm by Kokos. Storm. And a Curse. Oh, I don't no. think it's cursing anyone. The Just throw down a Flame like, Wall. Under some pressure here. Rizzy is in trouble, though. We can't focus on what's going on with the Devoted because... Right now, the Zealous are getting pressured really hard. Carlton has to pick up Rizzy. Tuckerain's also low. It's pretty even match right now. Kokos does get trapped, does get firestormed. Takes quite a bit of damage, down to 45%. He does. Wow, Eradicate's low. He's got to heal himself ASAP. Eradicate is such a good shaman. He's going to let himself drop low and heal his team. He's not going, you know, he's, he's going to delay to. healing himself just to get his team up. I mean, that's why what? he's in the semifinals here. Yeah, exactly. However, he... Oh, he just got... That was a double bullet by Kokos right there. He did stun both the players, Shredzor and Eradicate. Uh, kind of slow playing. I want to see if Carlton can pick up Kokos and Rizzy. You're going to see a really big engagement by Kokos soon. But he's going to wait to... He's at 61%. Once he gets around 90, if he gets a buff, you're going to see a really big play by him. Oh, I hope so. Uh, multiple curses going out. Both teams just packing... Uh, just uh, a little bit of turtling here. Back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Kokos is up to oh, 70. Oh, wow. Look at that that was his... impressive. Yeah, he doesn't have his flame burst. He should have it in three or four seconds. He yep. Okay, it is back up. So he does get back into the battle. That's something good about Pyros. He does get a bullet in the back of Eradicate. And it now looks like he's going to help Carlton. Carlton's being pressured really hard. Carlton trying to get off on the side. He does a great job getting out of there. He just needs to be careful that he doesn't get bullet or knocked off because that'll be very detrimental to to uh, the downfall of his team. However, Rizzy is... Rizzy's not too bad. He's doing a good job blocking at 40%. It's only Shredzer. Carlton is now healing him up. Kokos pushed back Eradicate and Tuckerain, so a lot of back and forth here. It's definitely a tug of war. And Firestorm's going out by Kokos and Rizzy, so that's going to do a ton of damage. That's wow. where a lot of the we pressure is. They're hitting people they're not even targeting, and that's so good. There's the buff. Carlton Banks just buffed Kokos. You're going to see... There's the Bola. Okay, is Kokos going in there? Oh, yeah, there was the Flame Wall. Come on, Kokos. We need to see another Firestorm, something while you have that buff. Utilize oh, it. Oh, you got Bola. No. Fortunately, he did get bullet. However, Rizzy, look at Rizzy in the back. He's getting pressured by Shredzer. Shredzer's almost got him down. It's a back and forth. 37%, 31%. Eradicate getting back there to heal up. Carlton getting back there to heal up. Kind of a 1v1 over there. People, we almost forgot about him, but we were able to catch that. However, Eradicate is extremely low. Oh, he does no. get to stand next to his team. Kokos fails this flame burst, hits his head on top of the bridge. Really silly. I'll have to up for that later. And Eradicate and just... Excellent work as a shaman. I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, Eradicate is definitely carrying. Uh, he's got to be first in heals. I don't know. Carlton has been doing such a great job. Carlton does throw out another, another buff. That's one thing I like about Carlton. He doing is a lot buffing. Of buffing. His... Yeah, so Eradicate. Buff the team. Yeah, Eradicate is not getting any buffs out. So, you know. The health pool is about the same, but those buffs are gonna make a difference. And I, if the if they win, it's gonna be because of those buffs. 
Shredzer does get bullet back. Kokos is on the high ground. Kokos isn't receiving any heals right now, but that's okay. He's going to block and line of sight while still pressuring. He's doing such a good job letting Carlton heal up Rizzy. Rizzy does get a Firestorm cast on him. Carlton is rebuffing Kokos instead of healing him, which is a good choice. You know, he knows Kokos can make it back to him and he can heal him up. However, Kokos is at 50%, so he should pick him up really soon. No, he's going to go offensive. He's going in for a link. He didn't get a link, but look how low Tuck Rain is. He's kind of standing in a flame wall, I believe. I don't know if that's his. I didn't see who landed it. Kokos does throw down another flame wall. Eradicate extremely low at 27%. Rizzy doing a good job zapping some damage in there. Kokos at 50. He needs to let Carlton pick him up, but Carlton... Wow, they're it. really laying it down here. Oh, no. Yeah. Tuck Rain, super low. This could be it. Watch. This could be a Kokos defining moment. Wow, Eradicate always gets back in there and heals his teammates when they need him. It's serious. Shredzer is grouping back for his team. Kokos gets a huge flame wall right over Shredzer. Took two tastes oh, of no. that. Huge bullet by Rizzy. Oh, this no. is it's super low. Come Everybody on, eradicate. Dumps drops. It's keeping him alive. Tuck rain drops. Oh, man. Okay. And eradicate's gone. Amazing. 1v1. Is, is this 1v1 now, or is that the first, is that the first match? Crazy. That was the first match, Alex. That was exciting. Oh, man. All right, guys. Let's see what we got for this next match. That first match was awesome. It was a little oh, long, no. too. I mean, Eradicate did a great job of bringing his team back from the brink on a number of occasions. Yeah, long matches are fine with me. There was, it was nonstop action, Alec. There was no there was no downside or, you know. Not at all. It was all. full engagement. All right, same teams. No, no, they didn't change their team up at all. The team makeup at all. Kokos did flame burst, going really aggressive in the beginning. I didn't what see Carlton. The camera there? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's we should here. go full screen. All right. All right, let's. The match is underway. So if we can get full screen, Kokos does get bullied, doesn't block. So he does get peeled off for a bit. Carlton is rebuffing Kokos. Really proud of how much uh, Carlton Carlton is doing such a great job. I'm really impressed with him on Shaman. I haven't seen him play Shaman too much. Not not in these arena tournaments. Yeah, I've I mean he's definitely lot, been able but, to, to hold it down for his team though. Yeah, but he is playing quite phenomenally. Coco's taking the high ground again, using the entire map to his advantage. Every spot, every nook and cranny, line of siding, back and forth. Now on top of the dragon set. Yeah, he's loving Dump the high ground there. Yeah, he gets a huge flame wall down. Is getting another buff from Carlton long range. Carlton is playing with ping, by the way. So all of his stuff is he has to really make sure he aims uh, well. Carlton like, and think. Eradicate have a lot of ping here. Yeah, so Shaman's on level terms. Or Coco's That's on this high ground dominating. Ooh, there goes another huge getting flame wall. Their pola. Eradicate is just getting pressured so hard. Yeah, they're, they're not battles. letting up on him. And oh, wow, he got out of there. One got out. And no, he does gone. Black firestorm. Oh man, that was a close team call. What synergy? This is going to be Alex. a much faster battle here. Wow, Tuck Rain's looking low. And that's it. That's it. And uh, I these, believe these actually were the finals, correct? Because now we yeah. have the loser bracket. Yeah, that was. Uh. We have to play out H bracket. But H bracket came from. Oh yeah, that was the so Coco's team wins and we're playing. That was the finals. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah, and so I guess this is the real finals. Is that what we're doing? Uh, I'm not uh, too if sure. These are just the same same teams again. I'll I'll watch two more matches from them. Oh, I need to refresh my list. A little bit of a blunder. Yeah, that was the finals. It's a best of five, actually, Alec. We didn't realize that was the final, so it's supposed to be a best of five. And this match is underway. It's panning out quickly. We've kind of missed a little bit while oh, checking the bracket. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Which is unfortunate, but we're right in here. 
right now it is 2-0 in favor of the yellow team. That would be Cocos, Rizzi, and Carlton Banks. This map, you know, it's going to change Carlton up. Carlton Banks. <laughs> I love that name. Sorry. <laughs> Such a great name. I always see a lot of unique unique names uh, in this game. So, oh, you know, the team comps did get changed up a bit. Shredzer is on is on an assassin. Ah, I don't know. he's right in the middle of the map, too. I don't know how effective this is going to be, though, Alec. Yeah, Alec, I don't know, but uh, Sin's on this map. What are the rest of his team running? They've got a Pyro Shaman. Shredzer ah. is just committing to this. He's getting flame wall all yeah, over the place. Yeah, that's rough. Oh. He dropped really low. He's at 40%, 50%. Eradicate is desperately trying to heal him up. He also has to heal Tuck Rain. Tuck Rain taking a curse right there. That's not good. He's pressuring too. He's going to take full curse damage. Uh, yeah, he down to 31%, down to 27 Rizzy was doing a good job. Rizzy did get bullet off of there, though. Yeah, Coco's, Coco's is a little low okay. now. Yeah, Carlton, see, this map is so troublesome because people are not familiar with it. Yeah, so not people at all. Oh, over the place. people flying yeah. everywhere with bullets. Good yes. flame wall. Back and forth. Cocos looks like he's about to drop here, though. Yeah. He can drop. Wow. I, you know, maybe I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep my mouth shut about the assassin. Definitely. Yeah. Shreds I mean, maybe that was a better idea than we even expected. Well, trying to look at it again and review it. What you know, shreds are, Even if he's not doing damage, he can CC shadow shift and stun wow. and smoke. There we go, changing the course of the battle. Well, what a quick, uh, that one was a quick match. And that time it was for the Zealous. Great, wow, great yeah, job. Yeah, there's another, another big comeback for the black team here. Yeah, black is not out of it, don't count them out. <laughs> battle show and eradicate. I think he got a couple zaps in there I saw. I wasn't able to call that out. Oh man, so yeah, but Assassin, even if he's not doing damage, he still has that CC potential. He can crowd control, so... Oh, completely. No, I was... I shouldn't have said anything about taking an Assassin. They are running it again. The Assassin is getting buffed right away. That's an important thing to do. If you're playing with an Assassin on your team you and you're buff. the Shaman, you need to buff the Assassin first because you don't want to reveal his location yeah. by having that long game channel. Cocos did switch as well. Cocos is now on Pathfinder. You should see a lot of aggressive traps. He is oh, trying to Cocos press in. Pathfinder. Interesting. Yeah, I think he, he's more comfortable with Pathfinder on this map because he can get a lot of good traps off. Eradicate getting pressured really hard. Shredzer does open on Carlton Banks. Coco is, is laying into him with Mouse Ones. It looks like he got a poison arrow off. He did indeed. So he's not going to be able to get a restealth right away. Shredzer does drop that smoke bomb. Eradicate is stuck inside the smoke bomb. Doesn't really affect him because that was his teammates. However, he is so disarrayed. He needs to heal someone, get to his team. He is getting Tuck Rain healed up. Shredzer is making it back. He is in camo. Camo, my bad. He is in stealth. And both teams are kind of resetting it a bit. However, Eradicate is low. Cocos just threw a huge stun trap from the top level onto Eradicate, then into a volley. That was such a good trap. Oh, man, he's, he's got him. Yeah, he's pressing in. However, Rizzi just... I'm not sure what happened, but he flame bursted. Maybe he fat fingered that key. Yeah, it happens to the best of them. Oh man, so many bullets. It's going right across the map there. Yeah, right now Eradicate is just trying to heal Shredzer and heal himself. He's having such a hard time. Kokos is being unrelenting. Yeah, he's very aggressive. Just another trap. That one was a cow trap, I believe. Stun trap should be up soon. Uh, Cocos is pressing in, but there is a flame wall down, so he doesn't want to run through that and take unnecessary damage. He There's the stun trap. He does throw one mouse one into it, and now he looks like he's trying to pressure eradicate again. Looks like he does get a couple mouse ones. Tries to blinding arrow, but it misses. He wants to get that CC out. Pathfinders do have a lot of CC. They have the blinding arrow. They have the stun trap. Uh, and they have the swap. If they do intend to use it, it does take a while to set up. Tuckrain is extremely low. Eradicate is trying to get to him. Tuckrain is going to drop to Kokos' poison arrow. A lot of damage there. Pretty. Oh, Eradicate is getting beaten. Is this it? He's yeah. out. He's out. Yeah. Definitely. He is down for the count. Wow. Oh. And Rage quit. This series. 
Rage quit eradicate. What the <laughs> uh, so <laughs> such bad man.